and today's video is another episode of Cups of Chai. So welcome back and today's episode I will be talking about a message or a letter for my younger self. Okay, so I know a lot of people have done this on the internet. This is not this is nothing new, but I'm just doing it for myself because I just feel that this is an amazing way to introspect. This is an amazing way to realize how you've made mistakes and you are like overcoming them in a way. I just want that my future self doesn't repeat what my younger self did. So I just felt that this is very important and by the way this is not chai, this is garam pani if you can see the dhua out of it. So cheers you guys, you can, you can also like grab water because it's very important to hydrate yourself. Me of all people should not be saying that because I literally never hydrate, never ever. Like my parents are so sick and tired of telling me to hydrate all the time. But yeah, okay. Anyways, so today's topic, not getting away from it. I have no script today, I'll just talk my heart out because I feel like that is the most important thing that we can do with ourselves. And why I'm making a video and showing all of you all of this is because maybe it inspires you to, to do this and, and sharing something good is never a bad thing maybe and if you don't want to watch it you can always skip it so that's there anyways so today's video let's come to that it's been almost two minutes that I've been talking shit by now so first lesson is this only talk like useful things in life <laughs> so, uh, so the first thing that I want to tell my younger self is that is that don't beat yourself up too much i mean don't be harsh to yourself just be a little kinder of the decisions that you make of the things that you do of the things that you don't do just relax and just breathe in and ask yourself if it would matter five years down the line or ten years down the line and it won't just just stop stressing about those little things about those all those small small things like you just keep hitting yourself up for a small mistake that you have, might have made or a small deadline that you might have missed or a small like I used to get very stressed for my notebook submissions when I was a kid and now I realize that didn't matter <laughs> if, if you got like a 19 out of a 20 would have been same as a 20 out of a 20 so just just be kinder to yourself just tell yourself that it is okay sometimes to not be perfect at everything because this was a problem with me okay i used to overthink and i used to stress about things that did not matter as much in the long run and i wanted those things to be perfect all of the time and then i used to tell myself that i'm not good enough if they were not perfect all the time which eventually made me realize that it's not important that i should stop doing that because that is affecting me that i'm so that is why I'm so inconsistent on YouTube because what happens a lot of times is that I make a video, I think about it for two days, then I make it in a day and then I edit it for two days and then when the video gets made, I'm like, I don't like this anymore. I feel like I'm just not doing what is required. Maybe this content will not add value to anybody's life and I then never ever post it or, or sometimes I never shoot it only because I feel like the idea is not perfect. Sometimes I don't edit it only because I feel like the clips are not perfect. So I just keep beating myself up in a race to be best at what I'm doing to be like perfect, which, which is not a good thing to do. So I'll just tell myself to not run in that race to just to just be who you are and just just know that everything is not perfect and sometimes we just think it is not perfect but maybe it is in our own way right because there's no definition of perfect in this world maybe okay so right now i don't have any script i have not memorized this at all i'm just talking my heart out so if, if it gets boring i'm really sorry about that uh, another thing uh, a professor of mine recently told this story in class and i was so moved by it because I thought that this is some psychological story that, you know, people used to like test your psychological abilities or something like that, you know. One of those stories where they tell you, you imagine a room, there's a table, what's the color of the walls, that kind of a story. But it turned out to be something different, so I'll tell it to you if you're like up for it. Um, I'll, I'll add a timestamp if you want to skip it. 
so um so the story was maybe okay 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 so everybody close your eyes and just imagine there's a room you're in a room okay and you're standing in a room and there's a table in this room there's nothing else in the entire room just there's this one table that you're looking at and there's a lemon in on the table there's a lemon lying on the table it is a very big fresh juicy yellow lemon and you start moving towards the table when you move forward you see there's also a knife lying beside the lemon so what you do is you pick up the lemon and you slice it from between and you see a little juice comes out and then you open your mouth half of the lemon is lying on the table half of it is in your hand and you open your mouth and you squeeze a little bit in your mouth and you feel a sour taste okay now i don't know if you imagine that but if you did do you actually feel like you had a lemon in your hand and did you actually feel like the sour taste of the lemon in your mouth and didn't all of this feel so real right it, i mean for me when when my teacher was telling this in the class i was lit i could literally taste the sourness of the lemon in my mouth i don't know how okay i could it was so real to me in my head because i was imagining it so engrossed maybe i didn't tell it that well that teacher really told it very well in the class so if you did imagine the lemon tell me in the comments so now the catch in this is that was there any lemon for real right there was no lemon for real yes i'm still sitting here with a cup in my hand there's no lemon and i'm just talking to a video you you're watching a video on youtube there is no lemon but you did imagine it and it did feel real and you did taste it and you did it it was there in your hands just right now right so a lot of times there is no lemon as in the issue that we are creeping on that we are putting our energy into that we are trying to solve is not even as big it's it's just an imaginary lemon in our head and when we remove that lemon we can see that there's a, like a wide open room for us and we were just focusing on that lemon so i don't know if that makes sense to you but it did to me and i did remember it as a story that that you know that's that's really nice and cute <laughs> so so i just thought of telling it so I would tell my younger self to not focus on lemons and and to realize the difference between an imaginary lemon and a real lemon because a lot of lemons are imaginary and a lot of lemons are exaggerated converted into like oranges on purpose in our head but they were actually lemons so I feel like none of this makes sense anymore but I just hope it does another thing that i will tell my younger self is that stop caring too much about what people think of you or whether they will like something that you do or not or whether they will approve of it or whether they will validate it or whether they will appreciate it most probably they will not okay i am not even like sugar coating it at this point of time everybody cares about their life about what they believe in about their morals their principles what they want to do basically okay even you do the same so it's very important for us to realize that you are not the center of everybody's uh disapproval or you know of everybody's judgment because a lot of times i used to feel like you know if i do this people will judge me if i do this people will what will they think what will they think and you know maybe i'm imperfect so they'll not like it and they'll laugh at me and everything nobody cares in reality trust me nobody cares and and it's not even that important to them you just do your thing just be who you want to be just 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 do the things that you want to do badly. Just stop caring about what people would say because they would say either way. If you do it and if you don't do it, people will say something, and it's it's more likely that they will not like you because 
when I used to be little, I used to be very, very, you know, I, I, I used to run around for validation and for like, uh, likability a lot. I, even now I do it. I feel like now I've started to realize that this is wrong. Earlier, I used to think of it as something that is a need for me. But the more I kept running, the more I realized that it will not come to me if I keep running for it. It will only come to me when it has to come to me or if it doesn't have to, like, it won't if, if it, it's not ready. Really. So basically, the point is that, uh, I forgot what the point is. The point is you do you, okay? So just, just stop worrying about what people will think about something, just do it. And I feel like this this lesson I'm still trying to imbibe because even now I do think a lot about what will they say, what will, you know, should I do this, should I do that or not because uh, that's how we are conditioned, okay? That's, that's basically something that gratifies us, something that validates us, opinions of others in our life. But, but I've decided how to like differentiate it, okay? So just draw a line okay so these people's opinions they matter to me okay so i because they are close to me and because because they are a part of my journey and because they would care if i succeed or don't succeed but after that line anybody else in this world's opinion should not bother me because they are not contributing factors in my life. They are just spectators. They only get to watch. They do not get to fuck up with my mental space. So uh, I feel like that's very important. And these two things I think I have I have gotten from like introspection of my own self. So I feel like let's like together try to introspect and maybe you could type it down in the comments below or maybe not just don't do it just think about it that what are the things that you don't want to do in the future that you have that you feel like you have realized now after experiences because i feel like this learning i might have read this in books also earlier i i might have like heard it from so many people everybody says talks about these things in the tech talks and everybody writes about these things and there's so many posts on the internet everybody's talking about these things but you never realize until and unless you realize from your experience from from something that you experienced in your own life and then you sat and then you reflected and you introspected and then you realize that okay <laughs> this thing you you don't do <laughs> so uh, so maybe this video acted as just another thing on the internet for you. But maybe what you take down from this video is that it's very important to introspect and to reflect. And a lot of times what happens with me is that I introspect and reflect and the next moment I forget about it. <laughs> because that's what we do. We, we, we are motivated for that one moment and then it's like goes away. But, but that's the struggle, right? To just know these things and just to... Because because wanting perfection, because want being likable, because uh, wanting validation is so engraved in your system that you will keep going there. You will keep wanting to have it, but it's really important for us to unlearn, to, to as soon as we realize that we're doing something wrong, we need to stop ourselves. Like, okay, hey, does it matter in the next five years? No, right? Seems like a lemon. <laughs> so uh, I've been talking for a very long time now. It's been 14 long minutes I'm going to. I don't think I'm gonna edit this. I'll just like put it up on, on YouTube and you guys can watch it because yes, come on. If I edit it, it's it's gonna lose its realness and it's it's gonna be chunks that I put up together which are not even related. So I'll just not edit it. I'll put it up. If you wanna watch, you watch. If you don't wanna, you don't watch it. It's your choice, your life, you do you. <laughs> Anyways, do lose you guys. Thank you so much for staying along if you did and I wish i can post more videos uh, and i don't get upset for my own content too easily thank you so much for watching my video cheers you guys and i really hope that you all of you are taking good care of yourselves omicron is just like spreading a lot especially in delhi so just take care of yourselves take care of your family members and just be kinder to yourself see you later Toodles.